I'm back at the table. I'm back with Fabio. I feel like I would have been chastised if I wasn't here for too long, you know? So here we are. Let's move the table a little bit, get this a little more lined up. There we go. I did no preparation, uh, except for putting Fabio, like, in frame, because he wasn't before. He was kind of kind of tucked away. He's been, uh, he's been busy just being a hunk. Look at this guy. Oh, 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 sorry. There you go. That's why. Uh, give the people what they want. All right. So, um, I got a bunch of shit. I have a, a box from Dave that's gigantic. Um, it is for his charity auction that he did. We'll get into that later. I have a box from Funko that is huge. I have two, well, one full autograph mystery box and one that I know what the autograph is, but the pop itself can be different. Uh, I have I have food. This is the first time probably other than like candy that there's food. We're, we're gonna get into that first. Let's, let's do the food. This is food. <laughs> this is from the uh, Pop Couple Bake Sale that just took place a little bit ago. I bought a bunch of cookies. Because, I mean, come on. I'm fat. I'm a fat guy. I like cookies. And I bought a bunch. Because I've never bought their cookies before. Uh, if you don't know, Pop Couple, they, they sell and whatnot. Uh, and and they, sell, they sell cookies. But normally they sell, like, pops with them and stuff. But now you can just... There's a food and drink section on whatnot now. Which is so crazy to me. So you, you can just do that now. We got full business card there. And then we got the goods. I'll probably put them back in this box. But we've got the goods. We've got the good good. Alright, yeah, get, get those out of there. Alright. So uh, me and Dave, me and Dave, uh, we bought some rejects. They cookies that taste good, but but look, you know, a little little wonky, a little rejected. That's okay. It's okay because they're still good. So we got some rejects right there. Put those back in the box. We got, oh, that was the second bag of rejects. Me and Dave bought these out, like, real quick. We got some pizzelles, some little waffle cookies. I don't know if you've had one of these, but put, like, some powdered sugar, maybe maybe some fruit on there, or ice cream if you're fat like me. Put that on there. And then what I'm most excited for, I, I might, you know what, I'll even do a live, I'll even do a live taste test. I got a couple bags, I know I'm going to like it. But we got a couple bags of mint chocolate chip cookies. I mean, they're like, they got like Andy's mints in them. You know how exciting that is to me? I love that. They smell minty. They smell minty. Look, look at that. Look at those. Look at those. I'm going to, I'm going to try it right now. How? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, that is, that is special. That is something special right there. I mean, you put mint and chocolate together, it's gonna be real good. It's gonna be real good, and it was, and it is. Delicious, well done, pop couple. I expected nothing less, and I am very excited to try these all warmed up in the microwave. Yeah, you heard it here. That's what you do. You're supposed to warm your chocolate chip cookies or whatever in the microwave. Get them all ooey gooey like they just came from the oven. Or I guess you can put them in the oven for like a little bit. But like it's way quicker to just put them in the microwave for like a few seconds. And it's like so good. Professional fat guy here. Um, This is a trade maybe? Yes, this was a trade. I traded uh, Asuka. WWE Asuka for these. With uh, I got, I don't remember. Sean, um, I know his name is Sean. I don't remember his Instagram handle off the top of my head. I'll put it here. If I can get it open. Come on, there we go. I almost stabbed myself. Alrighty. And we've got stickers! I love stickers. I'm, I'm, always, I'm always into getting stickers from people. Oh, there we go. It's on here. Perfect. S Hoover 1301 on Instagram right there. Go follow him. Cool dude. Uh, offered to get me some things from um, Steel City Con, but my own bad. I completely forgot where when it was, so uh, I was not able to get anything. But that's my fault. He, even when he was there, he still offered, so I appreciate that. 
We've got very well packaged, good shit. We've got a couple here. Let's go with this one first. In protectors too, what a guy. What a hero. Follow him on Instagram, really, do it. Do it. I'm telling you, I'm not asking. We've got the Candyman, Chase. This might be one that I try to get signed eventually because Tony Todd's signature is really, really cool. So I might try to get that one signed. Other than that, I haven't seen the movie. I do want to see it. I haven't seen it though, but uh, cool, cool Chase, bloody Chase. And I like the horror pops, so, so I got that one. Next up, we've got to complete a set. I don't know if I showed off the other ones. I don't think I did. But I got Fat Amy and I got um, Becca from Pitch Perfect. And now to complete that set, we've got Aubrey, the only other one in that set. There were so many characters in that set and they only made three. Granted, they were the most popular three, I suppose. But, boom, full set, Pitch Perfect, got it. Hell yeah. All right, I am trying not to take forever to do things. I know that's still going to happen just because I talk a lot. Um, but, well, I need a trash bin. All right, uh, let's go with this one. I believe this is from Coke. This is from Coke Fresh on Instagram. You know, I know, everybody knows. Maybe, I don't know. Go follow him too. Everybody follow everybody. Everybody you see here, follow them. Put your love in here, invoice, follow where at. Love it. All right. I need all the bubble wrap I can get. I'll take it. Uh, so he went to WonderCon and was able to pick up a couple of these guys. We've got Kronk, the official WonderCon sticker right there. Very cool. And then we've got, this is my personal favorite from the con, Peacemaker with the official con sticker. Thank you, Cope. I appreciate that. Um, you're doing uh, the hero's work, going to these cons and getting pops for people. Even though you, you didn't get those for me. I bought them from you in an auction, but you get the point. You understand. I don't know what this is. I don't remember what this is, so it's a wild card. These are a couple of mystery boxes. I know that much. I'll probably do those two last. I just have, the big ones are over here. <laughs> I just have no room for them. This one I don't remember. I'm sure once I see it, I'll be like, oh yeah. Oh yeah. So I just found this for a really good deal. Funny enough, I have, I haven't even opened any of my New York Comic Con, or Festival of Fun, whatever the hell it was. ECC, CCC Festival of Fun, or whatever the hell they were calling it. I haven't opened up any of that shit yet, or very little of it. I opened up Jimi Hendrix to see if it was the con sticker. It wasn't, but then I bought one for a really good price. Um, and then I found this for like 20, 22 bucks, I think, which I'm a big South Park collector. Uh, I, I love all the pops. I have all the pops, I think, at this point. Um, so I wanted to add this one, uh, the official con sticker, Tooth Decay. Kyle is Tooth Decay. Uh, very cool. I hate those. St Actually, this is a pretty good placement, though. Usually those Festival of Fun stickers are all over the place. This one looks pretty perfect, which I'll take. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Oh, let's get, let's get these guys up there. I'm not going to have room. I'm, I'm putting them up there, but I don't <laughs> have any room. There you go. There you go, Carl. I don't know what this is. I have no idea. I feel like I do that a lot, though. Like, just have generally no idea what's going on. What are you? Oh, I do know. Okay. Oh, it's fucking... It's huge. I didn't expect it to be this big. That's what she said. Oh. I shouldn't have made the joke, but it was right there, you know? Uh, this is from Hot Topic. It has nothing to do with Hot Topic. It was just the best price I found. But it's very cool. It was a must-have. We've got... The Power Slave Iron Maiden album cover. Look at how badass that is. That's great. I love this. <laughs> this is so cool. My dad is a big big Iron Maiden fan too, so he's going to love this as well. 
but this one's for me. If he wants to buy it, I'll buy him one, but this one's for me. And it's in, like, really good condition. Finding these, like, bigger ones in harder, in, in good condition is real hard. It's real difficult. But uh, this one's in basically mint condition. I don't, I don't like calling things mint, but I'm not trying to sell it, so I don't give a shit. All right, I need to make room for the, the big, the big ones. Let's do, uh, let's do the one from Funko first. We'll save Dave's, not the last, but second to last. Uh, box looks a little beat up, but not like super terrible. Should be okay, hopefully. This precious cargo in here from my WonderCon haul, but mine was just, you know, from the internet. Eh, I gotta move it. Mine was, yeah, I, I just got the, the drop. But I got everything I wanted, so I'm happy with that. Oh my god, I understand why. I see why. I'm like the world's shittiest magician. All right. Um, okay. Let's see. This is why it's so big. Let's do the smaller shit first. Get this out. Get this out. Everything looks okay, uh, but that does not mean it is okay. Just judging by past experiences. Um, so, let's see, let's see what's in here first. All right, we've got this. I liked this one. I wasn't going to pick it up originally. Ooh, it's a little smoosh, but that's okay. It's not terrible. Uh, I think that was just shipped that way, to be honest. Um, we've got Donald Duck, the angel and devil Donald. Very cool. Cool two-pack. Um, was hoping it would come with the con sticker, you know? some Because sometimes when they do these internet drops and you get them from Funko, they come with the con sticker, but guess not. Not today. And Hot Topic still has this in stock, so... You want this, you can grab it. It's pretty cool. I like it a lot. I'm not a big like Disney collector or anything, but I, I liked that one, so. So I grabbed it. These should be my two pops that you already saw, but I bought already, so I didn't have the con stickers. So uh, they, these are gonna be the shared versions of two pops you've already seen. <laughs> Probably. Very likely. Yeah. So we've got Kronk and Peacemaker, the shittier versions of the pops you've already seen. <laughs> They'll say pop, but uh, the, the worst sticker. That Peacemaker sticker is awful. Kronk looks good. So now I need to make a decision if I want to get the shared one signed by Kronk, or by Patrick Warburton, if I want to get the con one signed. I'll probably get the shared one signed, just because the con one's cooler, like the sticker's nicer. Um, so I'll probably get that one. I'll probably get the, the shared one signed. But you never know. As of right now, that's the plan. <coughs> I think. Alright, so, big ass box. From the day is this one. I you can figure out what it is, probably. It is the That is scary. That is scary. It looks okay, but man, that's terrifying. They just put the bag in. Like, there's no sorter on this She-Ra. There's no sh sorter at all. They just put the bag kind of like in there on it. <laughs> like, it's not on it, but like, it's right. That's bad. That's a, that's a bad way of shipping things, Spunk Up. At least put one of your shitty sorters on it. But we've got the stupid tiny little She-Ra bag and the, and the pop, which actually looks great. I mean, it looks to be in pretty pretty decent shape, which is surprising. Um, but you know, it was it was a it was a close one. It was a close one. Open this sucker up. I have no interest in this bag. I'm going to be selling it immediately just because, like, who cares? It's cool. I mean, I like it. I just, what am I going to, I'm a grown ass man. What the hell am I going to do with this thing? You say, oh, you should have left it for, for the people. No, mm -mm. I wanted to buy it and I wanted to sell it. 
I have the power. I have the power to do that. Yeah, here, here's the bag. I don't care. I don't really. <laughs> I don't care about it. But there it is. Uh, I'm going to be selling both of these things probably. Maybe I'll trade this to Jay if the box is uh, up to par. It looks decent to me, but Jay notices things that no other people, no other human eyes can notice. So we'll see about that. But for now, ta-da! Popping bag thing. There you go. Cool. Cool stuff. Um, I don't know what to do with any of this. I'll put it back in the box a second. And then I'll put... I'll put this in a protectee. And I, am I going to do that right now? Yes. You're going to have to watch me. You're going to have to watch me put this in a protector. There we go. Just because I don't want it to get hurt. It looks good after possible peril, and I don't, I don't want it to get bad. It could have been way worse. It really could have been. Or it could have been bad in general. That looks great. It could have been bad. It was not. We're, we're good. Everything's peachy. I don't know what to do with that bag, though. That's going to be... A, at least it's small, so it's pretty easily shippable. There's, I'm making a mess. Uh, ooh, pardon me. It's that cookie. All right. This is from Big Dog Dave. Um, he did a charity auction for Puzzle Pieces Square. Uh, we raised a ton of money. I mean, he did mostly, but we bought things. Um, a lot of people donated things. Good for them. I, I meant to and forgot because I'm stupid and forget things. Next next year, I'm definitely going to. Um, but I did buy a bunch of stuff, so I guess I contributed in some some fashion. I got a bunch of stuff here. Uh, the box looks like it's in pretty decent shape, so hopefully everything showed up all right. But there is a bunch of goods in here. There's a, there's a whole mess of stuff. All right. Paper. All right, well, let's get this out. Let less clean. Uh-oh. All right. I'm going to take everything out of the box, and then we can start unwrap it. I barely even remember what I bought. So this will be like an, oh, yeah, this is what you bought. This isn't, but this is, I'll get it, I'll get into that. Actually, we'll do that first, probably. All right. Cool, cool, cool. So this right here was not something I purchased for the charity auction, but my pal Dave found this beauty somewhere. I don't know where. I didn't ask. He just said he was going to get one and said I could have it if I wanted to buy it. And I was like, absolutely freaking lootly. Um, it is the Handmade by Robots. Big Daddy! If you saw before, I showed off the Psycho and the Mayor. These are now my only three. Um, and as of right now, unless I do the Golden Girls, maybe the only three I'll get. But boom! This has been like the hardest one to find uh, for me. Uh, and there it is. Dave hooked me up. And uh, I very, I greatly appreciate it. And titty card. Waifu card. There, there's some titties for you. I hope I don't get banned! Why would I get banned? There's no nudity. Oh, and then we got uh, an Umpty Scratch sticker. Oh, right. Um, he's going to be doing another auction on, on Umpty Scratch's website eventually. There's no time set for it yet. So just keep an eye out on Big Dog Dave's um, Instagram page. And then uh, you'll you'll get the information as we all do. All right. Let's, uh, let's do the non-pop stuff first. Phone My Hero Academia Collector. I collect a ton of that stuff. Everything is super well packaged, too. <clears throat> I'm a My Hero Academia Collector, so I saw this and wanted to pick it up. Very cool. Haven't seen it before. Target exclusive. All Might Fig Pin. Very cool. Like that. Um, more. Let's get into more pins. There's more pins. Alright. More pins. Here we go. Um... Everyone made fun of me when I bought this uh, because of the reasoning. I said that I bought it because I like Riverdale, and that's still true. <laughs> but uh, I got this Archie pin set because I like Riverdale, which is true. 
but they're, they're, they're actually bigger. This is, this is bigger than I expected. Um, I expected, I, I, for whatever reason, it just seemed smaller when I saw it, but it's, it's pretty good size and it's nice. It's like magnetic, like a book, like a little magnetic book. And it's got the four pins inside and, uh, it's limited, I think too. Yeah. Number 140 out of a thousand. Can you see that? Can you see that? All right. I don't know. Whatever. Cause I can't. Oh yeah. 140 of a thousand. Pretty cool. Uh, nice stuff. I, I, I was happy to pick that up for a pretty good price from what I was being told. <laughs> I was told that I got it for a good price. And it seemed like I did. Uh, all right, next up we've got probably, not to choose favorites, but probably my favorite piece from the, the auction that I bought. We've got, I already have one of these. Uh, I have the rainbow, the translucent rainbow version, but we've got Orca and Friends. We've got the Spastic Collectibles rave edition very cool uh like i said i do have um i think it was my world did a rainbow like a rainbow edition but this is the rave edition from spastic collectibles boom i think it's numbered but i don't know to what or not numbered but like i think it is limited but i don't know to what and i don't really care who cares who cares about the number it don't matter it don't matter all right, let's get into the final two items. Let's do this one first. I got some pops. Because, I mean, pops are my thing. Pops are my main my main thing, you know. From Target Con. Got this for a great price. We've got Flot Chandler Bing in the bunny suit. Uh, I do have the original Friends set, but I decided not to pursue it further because they started making... Way too many, not like office levels of too many, but uh, but still way too many. But I have the expensive ones, and that's what matters, because I don't have to pay anyone to get them. They were actually funny enough; they were a gift, so I have never paid anyone to get them. Even better, that's how I feel. Uh, this was like the, the grail of the night for me, for uh, for pops. There's a lot of bubble wrap and paper noises and shit. We've got the Syringe Fingers Freddy Krueger. It is the uh, special edition sticker, but who gives a damn? Uh, this has been one that I've wanted for a long time. Just never pulled the trigger on it because uh, I just never did. I don't know why, but boom. We've got a great Freddy Krueger piece, and it is a stupid special edition sticker, but that is okay because uh, I, I wanted it. Who cares? Who cares? That's it. Not I say that's it as in that wasn't like, a shit ton of stuff but let's get into the last two things two mystery boxes and then i can wrap up here i was gonna do like a supplemental hey here's other stuff i got but uh the video's already way too goddamn long so i'm not gonna do that um let's do this one last we'll do this one first so this is from zoby productions they sent a sweet pink box that i like i'm into that i like that uh, this was a drop last week, I think. I don't remember. I think I think it was a drop last week. It is Pam Beasley. It is Jenna Fisher, Pam Beasley. Uh, so this can either be the new mold or the old one. Um, I'm going to guess the old one has a lot less pieces to it. But I, it wasn't, like, numbered or anything. Uh, so that's just a guess. I'm, which is... It's good if I get the, the new one, actually, because I don't have the new one, and I do have the old one. So, I'm happy either way, but what to do... I think it's upside down. What do we have? It is the new one. It is the new uh, Pam B... It's in a glow protector, too, for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, but it's in a glowing protector. Who cares? We've got the JSA certified Pam Beasley... Or Jenna Fisher, sorry. Jenna Fisher autograph with the... She's holding the teacup. And the, the signature, it doesn't match the teacup, but it's close. It's pretty close. But that's nice. I mean, oh, and it, look at that. Hold on. We got a new sticker. Dave hates stickers, but I love them. We got a Zobie Pop Drop sticker. That's cool. Dave thinks they ruin things, but I like them. Give me all, give me all the stickers. I want them all. I want all the stickers. But this is very cool. I'm very happy to have this. Um, I wasn't going to buy it originally, but then I remembered that I'm paying for like a membership or something through them. And <laughs> makes, uh, makes stuff like this cheaper. So I was like, all right, fine. Why not? You got me. This is from the Nerdy Newt. 
It is a horror mystery autograph. So it could be something I already have. The likelihood of it being something I already have is high because I have a lot of horror autographs already. Um, it could be a Tobin Bell. Uh, I remember that being one of the big ones uh, that it could be. Other than that, I don't remember. I just remember that being one, which would be really funny because I have one being sent out to him right now. <laughs> there, uh, Zobi, no, not Zobi, uh, Dark Parlor is doing a signing with Tobin Bell, and I have one sent out for that. So, uh, Billy, uh, from Saw, for those who don't know. It's one of those shitty, one of these shitty boxes that, ugh, I can never get open. It's awful. Oh, 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 there we go. I think I got it. I think I got it. Now, you just kind of got to... Just kind of got to tease this one open, you know? So this can be, like, anything. It can be any horror otter. I can't see yet. It's covered in a nerdy new sticker. These boxes are terrible. These boxes are really awful. Alright. So let us see... What we have. It is... Oh, no! Ah, oh, boo! Uh, we got the uh, Nerdy Newt. I should have known. I should have known that this would be what I get. It's okay because it's still cool. And it's in red and I like this better than the other one. We've got the Nerdy Newt Signature Series. Uh, Bob Elmore as Leatherface. I do already have this. But this one's in red. My other one's in blue. And I prefer the red. So I'm probably going to switch this one out and sell the other one. Uh, which is... I'm fine with that. I mean, I'm cool with that. It's sad that it is one I have, and it's exactly one I have. Like, it's not even a different, t it's not even like a different uh, mold or anything. It's it's identical almost to the one I have, except for the pen color, which I will switch out and prefer. So it's okay. That's our, it, it's still nice. It's still nice. It is what it is. That's the risk you take when you have as many autographs as I do, um, which is a lot. That's a lot. So I'm going to wrap it up. Because it's already been, it's already been forever. This has been way too long of a video. I had so much shit to open. But hey, you got Fabio. You got to look at those sweet abs the whole time. Or a lot of it. A lot of the time. So, I mean, it's not, it's not, it's not the worst. That's all. Uh, really, I'm done. I'm done. I'm finished. Betty White is still immortal. Goodbye.